Okay, welcome. Today I just wanted to do an overview for the the new AI product template. Basically, it's a you know SaaS template, bubble built, uh, with a ton of functionality, the full back end, the front end, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole shebang. So we're gonna sort of take a little look at you know what it looks like from the front and go over a little bit about the uh, customization in the back and kind of what you can do with it. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you got any further content you want to see regarding this template, we will make sure to make it. So let's get started. So first, let's take a let's take a little look at the landing page that comes with the template. It's got everything you see, I guess, in this video is uh, all part of the template of the package. So you know, it's all pre-built, ready for your customization to change colors, to change wording, all of that. So basically, uh, the landing page is you know what you see right here. Uh, basically, just a breakdown of what the product can be, and it can get as specific or as vague as you want it to be, depending on uh, you know if maybe you want to niche this down a little bit for your own MVP, your own AI product. But this is a bit of the breakdown of the package as a whole. So you know you can see that uh, different tabs. It has a navigator built in, so all the different tabs bring you to different sections, uh, pricing, FAQs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's get into the meat now. So basically, click get started. Uh, I'm already logged in right now with an admin account, but uh, if you weren't, basically, we have the full sign up page built out uh, within the template as well. You know, of course, users are basically it's, it's built to be ready to go. So users can make a, an account, they can uh, make a free account. And then there's also the, you know, Stripe API built in so they can make a paid account. Uh, anyway, we are already going to be logged in. So let's go back. Okay, so this is the main tools dashboard as it is, as it comes. Uh, you can see basically this is an overview of all the tools that come with it as it's built right now. Uh, you can separate it by section, e-commerce, digital ads, social media, summarize, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can plan and billing. You can see basically the different pricing packages that come with it. Again, these are just the template ones. You can change those however you like. It can be two, it can be three, it can be five. It can be different price tiers. It can be more specific. You get the idea. So basically, let's take a little look just on uh, how it functions as it is. So let's look at the Twitter thread generator, for example. Uh, let's say the topic is brand building. We'll say our audience is entrepreneurs. We'll say content um, thread about building a, oh boy, if I could type that'd be much better, building a brand uh, via social media. Pretty generic, but just to show you guys basically you know what it looks like we'll just do one generation for now give it a second uh so once you click generate it'll slowly but surely call to the api and for reference the api i will show you right in the back end after in a second here but right now i have my own uh open ai api key put in but when you get the package uh that's the only thing basically that you have to change is you have to put in your own api key and uh then it is ready to go okay generation complete. It's got a uh, six tweet thread generated just like that. Building a brand can feel like an overwhelming task, but using social media is a great way to establish your presence in the online world. Here are a few tips to help you build your yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. And you know, here you have it. You can click copy just like that and bring it right into Twitter. And there you go. You got your thread. So anywho, click back, go back to the all tools screen and uh, you get the idea. So it's powerful. It comes with all that pre-built, but let's take a little look at what it looks like, what the bones look like. So what I was saying before is it comes with the API all structured out. It's all the open AI API, but basically we have it broken down into the chat completions and uh, Dolly for image generation. So if you look up here, uh, I'm not going to show you the whole API key, then you could steal, steal my everything. So please don't. But uh, basically the only thing that you're going to have to change, it has the uh, application JSON. And then this, this is going to be blank when you get uh, the template. Basically, you're going to want to put in bearer and then space, just paste your API key as is. That's it. And then that way it can call to your own open API key and then it is ready to go. So anyway, let's look at the breakdown of the data. This is basically the uh, thing that you can, if you want to make uh, the product a little bit more your own, a little more specific, a little more niche, or uh, just a little more broad. So let's take a little look at how the data is broken up. So you can see it's broken out to categories, charts, tools, users. We're going to worry about tools for now. So basically these tools, as you see right here, 
are what you see on this page right here. So as it is right now, we have, I believe, uh, 13 entries put in. You see 12 of them on here. That's because one of them is the image generation. We'll look at that towards the end of this video. But for now, let's just uh, take a look at what we have. So basically, you know, for, uh, for reference, you can come in here with the tools that are already built. You can change the description, whatever goes right there. Create the perfect name for your product. That's going, create the perfect name for your product. So that's what goes right there. You can see, so you can kind of fill in the blanks, but you get the idea, right? So the name, product description generator, and then it has all the prompt information. So basically it comes with those, like I said, but if you wanted to add your own, it is super simple. So basically you'd go new entry. Let's say we want to make our own tool right now. So let's say we want to make a tool for investor outreach. Let's say we have a startup and we're planning our you know, campaign of uh, reaching out to angel investors and uh, I want it to write me a template. So I don't have to think about that. I just want to worry about getting the lead list and then I want my tool to create the outreach for me or I want to create a product for entrepreneurs that are doing outreach and the tool will make it for them. So let's go through here. We're going to start by adding a category. I'm just going to do social media and we're going to add that right there. Category display, social media. You'll see the way that that pops up and we'll go through categories a little more in detail in a sec here, but then you'll see name. So name, let's just call it investor outreach. Simple. And again, let's hope we can spell investor outreach. You see it, you get the idea. Boom, let's create it just so you can see what that has done. Uh, so we've created the new entry already. It's right there. So you'll see it doesn't have any description. It doesn't have an icon. So it still looks a little empty, of course. But you see, simple as that. Now it's here. So let's go through and add a little bit more detail. We can add an icon. Let's add an icon real quick. I got a growth icon popped up. And you'll see, you know, it'll start populating as soon as we click save. Now we've got a growth icon. Great, cool. Now let's add a little bit more um, of the actual information to it. So you're gonna to wanna to come over to Prompt Start API, and this is basically where you're gonna tell OpenAI ChatGPT exactly what you want the prompt to be. Before you start uh, filling in specific variables, this is happening in the back end. So basically, I'm gonna say, write me a cold outreach message to an investor lead, asking them to take a look at my startup and consider investing in it. So that's what would come first in the prompt. So great. That's the start of it. Sounds good. So then we're going to want to adjust the name of inputs. So basically, that's what uh, the you know dynamic variables are going to be for the actual user putting their information in. So first one, we'll say my name. So that's going to be the user's name in context. But we'll write it as my name. We'll write uh, input two, name of input two as my company's name. We'll do name of input three as what my company does. So this is going to be telling uh, OpenAI all of the you know specific variables after giving it the prompt. And then let's say the investor's name so that hopefully I can fill that in for us automatically. And let's say, cool, that sounds good. Let's give it a little bit of a description so it looks a little bit better on the front page, on the main all tools page. Uh, and the description sounds good, I think. Let's reach out to investors about your startup. Very good, very simple. And there you go. That's, uh, you know, a minimum amount of uh, input into this back end here. Uh, you can get more specific with it, you can get less specific with it, but you'll see that once we save that, great, cool adjustments have been made and there it is literally it's, it happens immediately you can refresh sometimes you might have to but when it's adjusting the database you shouldn't have to with bubble uh, and you'll see right there social media is the category we've got a little icon now investor outreach reach out to investors about your startup so let's test the, th the tool let's see how it works okay so my name let's say my name is Jim my company's name let's say my name specifically is Jim Jones my company's name is Vizer Vizre I don't know how we'd pronounce that, but let's say what my company does, we make luxury visors. So let's, I guess, just say that. We create and sell luxury visors. Investor's name, let's say the investor's name is Andrew. And that should be good. So you can also adjust uh, in the back end there the uh, character limit if you want to set character limits. Right now we don't have it set, so it just shows you you know what the entry limits are without a max. So anyway, let's generate. Let's see what it comes up with. AI is thinking. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Okay, and it's generated. Dear Jim, I hope this message finds you well. I came across your profile as an investor lead and was impressed by your track record in backing innovative startups. I want to take this opportunity to int introduce you to our luxury visor startup called Visre. We are passionate about delivering high quality, blah, 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 blah. You see, it came up with a great cold outreach for an investor. Me, Andrew, talking about my company and reaching out to Jim. Boom, that's simple. You got a whole new tool. So you see, you can clearly design this to whatever audiences you know you're you're targeting. You can create your own product just like that. Simple. It could be you know a complete tool for startup 
uh, entrepreneurs. It could be a tool for, you know, social media marketers. It could be a tool for influencers. It could be a tool for video creators. You get the idea. Then it comes to your own creativity. Whatever you want it to be, it can be simple as that. Uh, we can take a quick look too at categories. So basically categories are the breakdown of what's written right above it, what each tool is, and what's uh, on the side here. And, you know, broken down if you want it to be, uh, you know, as you're scrolling through, if you perhaps, you know, make this a really, really big tool, which again, you could do simple as that. Maybe you have a hundred tools, maybe you have 200 tools, maybe you just have 50 tools. Either way, separating it by category uh, will become very useful as you have more tools. And those categories are right here. So same thing, you just create, you know, a new entry, you can add an icon, uh, and then you can break down the actual tools by category. That is basically the breakdown of the way the data works. Like I said, once you add your own API key with Bearer, then the product should function just as I've showed you here today. Uh, I think that's a pretty good overview I can show you. Also, just for reference, so I said these are uh, all of the text-based tools over here. We also have an image generation tool, pretty simple as it is right now. But again, you can make that as complicated as you want it to be. As it is right now, it's a logo creator. So if we're going to stick with my luxury visor company, we can say for the description, I already pre-typed this, but let's say, uh, let me read it for you real quick. It says, design a clean and modern, or a clean, modern, and professional logo for a luxury visor company. Make it similar to other minimal design brands. Uh, we're gonna say, come up with three logo ideas. That's kind of descriptive, but not very descriptive. If you want it to really be descriptive, you could fill in that full 600. And like I uh, showed you in the back end there in the data, you can change the description to have, you know, up to 1200, up to 1400. However, much uh, description you'd like to allow your users to have, you you can make them have it. So anyway, let's generate that based on that description. It should come up with, and this is using uh, OpenAI's Dolly. This should come up with three sample logos. Boom. So not the prettiest things in the world, but that's okay. Again, you can adjust it. You can get much, much, much more specific. You can take those and then adjust it from there. That is the gist of the logo creator. And again, because the Dolly call is in the, uh, in the OpenAI uh, API, then you can, you know, add in much more image functionality as well, depending on what your product is. It could be uh, concept art, it could be posters, it could be logos, it could be any other, you know, iteration of design, or it can be something, you know, ridiculous, like, you know, make me ap apocalyptic fish drawings and uh, generate 13 of them. I don't know. That's a terrible example, but you get the idea. So it's a very powerful tool, you know, add as many tools as you want within the tool, take as many away. And there's just, there's a lot you can do with it. So please ask me any questions. Hopefully I did a, a decent breakdown here. I know I'm kind of all over the place with it, but you see the power of the immersed AI tools template. So if you want to see another video breaking down, you know, what this could potentially become, if you have specific questions, please hit me. I'll try to answer everything. And uh, with that, I'm out of here. So enjoy the tool, enjoy the template, make some cool things.